Hello, welcome to my video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the drawing tools to interact with Earth Engine data. To follow this tutorial, you will need to install the GEMAP Python package. If you haven't done so, uh, please watch my other videos on how to install the package. And after that, you can come back and um, download this notebook. So it's under the examples, notebooks and uh, drawing tools, so the second one. After that, you can open your Jupyter Notebook and then we can go from there. Jupyter Notebook, it's open the notebook. Then navigate to the folder, examples, notebooks, <coughs> drawing tools. Okay, I'm going to maximize. So uh, very simple, first of all, just import the package and then use this just to create an interactive map and display the map, okay? Now, by default, it will create the map using the Google Satellite uh, as the base map. Then from here, we can um, add data from uh, Google's engine. So you need to import the EE library. And then, so these are just the uh, OS engine Python a API syntax that how you can retrieve the data from OS engine data catalog. So first we're going to add the SRTM, the global DM, and these are how we visualize the DM. So by default, you just grayscale, but you can change the color, change the symbology, and then add these data layers to the map. The second data layer we're going to use is the uh, United States, the state's boundary. So basically just a polygon layer, and we add layer. And so this is the, the data I want to add and this is the name is going to show up on the layer control. So all we need to do is just execute. Then we come back to here. You should be able to see these two data layers being added to the map. Okay, you can turn it on and off. These are the real remote sensing data. So you can do, use that for doing analysis. You can zoom, uh, zoom in, you can zoom out, you can also do clipping. Next, let me show you how you can use this to interact. Um, use the drawing tools here at the toolbar on the left side. How can we use this to interact with Earth Engine data? For example, you might be interested in doing coastal analysis. For example, you're interested in doing uh, analysis for the coastal states, for example, the West Coast, uh, East Coast, and the Gulf of Mexico. So how do we select those uh, states? And for example, we just want the DM to clip the DM using those states. How do we do that? Very simple. All we need to do is just click the drawing tools. For example, we can draw the polygon just like this. Okay. And then, so this one automatically, after you draw the shape, is automatically converted to a Google Earth Engine object. Okay. So if you check that on and off, uh, these are already uh, Google Earth Engine. I will show you later how to access um, the object. So next, for example, we can draw the polygon uh, on the East Coast. So all we need to do, draw all the polygon, the shapes that you want. For example, we want this, we want this, we want this. And right, another polygon. You can certainly like draw another one. Uh, you can draw as many polygon as you want. For example, you can draw all of this, right? And you can also draw a point. You can just put a point in here. So now we have all these uh, polygons. And the next step is to use these polygons to intersect with the uh, US state's polygon data there. So how do we do that? First of all, you need to know how to get access to these shapes that we just draw because um, it's on the data layer here, but we need to know how to retrieve these objects. So there's a, 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 fun, a, a, a property of the, uh, the map. All we need to do is just map dot draw features. So this one will automatically retrieve all the, the shapes that we just draw and all you need to hit one. Now you see, right? Earth engine feature. So basically, one each shape is one feature, one geometry. So in total, we draw two rectangles, one polygon, and one point. So there are four. There's also another property called draw last feature. So this is will be the one that we draw the last. So if you hit click, right? So this is the last from here, from this one. So the point is the one that we draw last. Next. How do we use this one to do the selection? So for example, if you're using ArcGIS or using uh, uh, QGIS, you might be familiar with 
you have two layers, then you just do the intersection. So then you can select the data, the layers intersecting with these uh, uh, geometries. Very similar in Google's engine. So all we need to do, because we already know how to return those uh, uh, features, this is a list. We can convert this list to a feature collection. So ee dot feature collection and then parentheses, then convert this one to a feature collection. And then you can use this one to do the filtering. So in Earth Engine, there's a function called filter bounds. So basically you can filter by boundary. Anything intersecting with this collection is going to be selected. So all we need to do here, after we also after we do the selection, we want to add these new layers to the map. So hit XQ. And if you come back to see the map, now we can turn off the US states. So you see now all these data layers, all these uh, US states are being selected because they intersect with those uh, shapes that we just draw in here. So once you have this, now you can do more uh, uh, analysis. For example, you might be interested in just the DM within this uh, state. You are not uh, using other uh, the area outside this uh, study area. Then you can do the clipping. So if you scroll down to the end, uh, and this is the SR, the entire global DM. You can use the clip function. All you need to do is pass in those states that we just selected. And then you get the clip imagery. And after that, you can add the clip imagery back into uh, Earth Engine. So if you hit one, and you come back and take a look. But you need to turn off the original DM. So you see, now you have the, the DMs being clipped and this is just a simple example. Uh, you, there are lots of uh, ways that you can utilize. So all you need to do is just sort the shape, and then you can do intersection, you can do selection, you can do clipping. Uh, depends on what functionality you need. Um, so please check this out. OK, so that's all for this video. Um, if you enjoy this video, please consider hitting the like button and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.